All right, hello once again. This is Jeff Scott of Rankin Technical College. I've been going over our hands-on test number four, JavaScript number four, for the AWD 1000 class. So far, I have gotten everything done, except I, with the last function that we have to write three ways, I have done way A, calculating with our own code. Now it's time to come in and calculate the min-max with a built-in sort and or reverse functions. So I took the working copy that we have, commented it out, and then copied it. I'm going to keep my headings. I'm going to keep that string, the average and the sum. So all those I am going to keep. But now I'm going to change the name of these. I'm going to call this one ASC, and I'm going to call this one DESC, all right? And I'm not going to uh, initialize either one of those. So let me move this down. So this, neither one of these will be initialized. All right. <clears throat> Now, as we did previously, we're going to go and copy all the information in just the same way we did it before. So this isn't going to change, and this isn't going to change. What is going to change is how we determine the largest and smallest values for our array. So I'm going to remove all of this that I have here, just delete it, and we're going to come in A second. Let's see. Yeah, we don't want the largest or the smallest. Yeah, that's correct. Just double checking. All right. Okay, so now what I want to do. Is I want to set <clears throat> ASC, which is going to be my array in ascending order, I want to set that equal to array.sort function A comma B return A minus B. And again, if you look at that and you go, geez, I don't have any idea what you're doing, I grab that right from W3Schools. What that's doing is an ascending numeric sort. All right? So now I'm able to come in here and I'm going to grab this line and just move it up. In fact, let's just move it up like this. But now instead of saying smallest, Okay, I don't want to say smallest, I want the first element in this array. So I'm going to say here, ASC 0. Other than that, it'll be the same thing that I just did. In fact, I'll leave that there. All right, now I'm going to do descending. And I'm going to set that equal to... ARR.sort, so I'm going to sort the one that I just put in, function A, B, return, and this time we're going to return B minus A instead of A minus B. So we're just doing a reverse sort. So instead of sorting it in ascending order, we are sorting it in descending order. Only difference. <clears throat> and now instead of saying largest here, I'm going to say DESC zero. Hopefully I didn't make any mistakes in there. Everything else will remain the same. Now we'll very quickly be able to tell whether or not we did this correctly. So I'm going to save, go back. Yep, 
and we'll put in, let's start with A's, 100, 99, and 94. And B's, 80, 89, 81. C's, 70, 75, 79. D's, 60, 69, 64. And F's, 55, 44, and 33. All right, minus 999. All right, there's our A's. There were three. The average is a 9767. The smallest is an A. The largest is, I'm sorry, the smallest is a 94. The largest is 100. That looks good. Got our B's. Smallest is 80. Largest is 89. Average is 83.33. 83 and there were three of them. C's, 70, 75, and 79, meaning our average is a 74, 6, 7. Smallest, largest, and there's three of them, D's. 60, smallest, 69, largest. 64, 3, 3 is the average, and there were three of those. And F's, 30, 55, 44, and 33. 50, 33 is the smallest, 55 is the largest, 44 is the average, and there were three of those. So it worked. So what we changed in this particular example is two lines. Previously, we had come in there and when we wanted to get our biggest and smallest, we assumed that the first element in each array was the biggest and the smallest. Then we went in and we checked element by element and we said if the current element is smaller than our smallest one, it becomes the new smallest. If our current element is larger than the largest one, it becomes our new largest. Well, in this next example here, the way we changed that was we just said sort the array. So once you sort it and it's in ascending order, then the first element will naturally be your smallest. Okay? Then we took the array and we did another, oh, another sort here. Why did I do it? Okay. This is a reverse sort. Okay? Now, did we have to do this? Actually, what we should have been able to do, and I'm, I'm going to keep this here because I don't want to get rid of it, but I'm going to try to do this yet another way and see if we can do it another way. We're going to see if it still works. Now, instead of doing an array.sort, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab our ASC, which is the array that we just created, and I'm going to do a reverse on that. And let's see, what I want to do here is array dot reverse of ASC. I think that's the correct syntax. We're going to find out very quickly. All right, I want to run it again. Start with our A's, 100, 93, 97. Our B's, 81, 84, 88. Our C's, 70, 74, 79. Our D's, 60, 65, 67. And our F's, 44, 33, 22. Minus 999. Well, it doesn't like something. Array.reverse is not a function. Well, I screwed something up, so let's quick check. I thought it was a function. JavaScript array reverse. I don't need to do the prototype. Oh, just the name of the array.reverse. So I guess I actually had it right, and then I changed it. So this, instead of saying array.reverse, this should just be asc.reverse and nothing in here. Okay? So let's try it one more time. Eleven, twenty-two, thirty-three. Those are our Fs. 66, 63, 69, those are our D's. 77, 71, 70, whoops, 71, 70, those are our C's. 
80, 84, 88, those are our Bs, 100, 100, 90, 93, those are our A's, minus 999. So there's our A's. Notice our largest is correct. And there were four. There's our B's. Our largest was correct. And we've got the, and the average is correct. There's our C's. Again, smallest and largest are correct, and it looks like our average is correct. Our D's and our F's. All right, so that worked. So what we did was, again, we replaced what we had done on here where we manually checked. We replaced that, so we replaced our smallest with an actual JavaScript sort in ascending direct in the ascending direction. We put that into an array called ASC. Then we replaced our largest check that we did here in the last one by reversing that ascending that we just did. And that worked. All right, so now I'm going to grab this, grab that function one more time. Copy it to the clipboard, comment it out, paste it in again, and now we have our third one to do. With this third one, now what we have to do, so we've done this, we did one where we calculated it with our own code, we did one where we did the sort and reverse methods, now we want to do one where we calculate it using the prototype.apply. This is going to be very, very similar to what I had shown you in um, <clears throat> the array thing that I gave you where we had the 25 random numbers. All right, so there's our first one, and I've commented that out. There's our second one, and I've commented that out. So let's go down to the third one. I'm going to keep the headings the same. Okay, I'm going to keep the string there. I'm going to keep the length. Got my average, my sum. All right. Now, just to do a, a, something a little different here, all right, let's come in here and, oh, we'll keep the ascending and the D. We'll keep all these. I don't even know if I want to use these. But we're going to come in here and we're going to say, um, actually, we should be good. So let's come down here. And what do we have here? We have the same thing that we've done before. Where we added all that stuff, and then we added the last element. That looks good. All right. All right, we've got our ascending, where we did our sort. But now let's change this. Okay, we've got, we, we want to have a couple variables here that I don't think I added. One that we're going to call largest and one that we're going to call smallest. All right, so largest, we're going to set that to negative one. And smallest, we're going to set that equal, whoop, equal to 101. So why did I do that? Well, now we can be assured that any number we put in will be larger than that, and any number we put in will be smaller than that. All right? So we've got all this. This is the same. And our, our array equal sort is the same, but I want to change this one. I don't want to change, I don't want to use that. Okay, so again, I'm going to say here, smallest equals math.min.apply math ASC. All right, and then this will change to smallest. 
Okay. Uh, my heat just went on, so I'm going to have to stop for just a second. All right. So I've changed this. I'm now using the math.min, which says apply the math function to the ascending array and do use the minimum. So on this one now, I'm going to do something similar here, but I am going to actually do the B minus A over here. So I'm going to say array.sort again, just like I just did. But this time, I'm going to do the B minus A instead of A minus B, which should do it in descending order. And now, I'm going to come in and I'm going to say largest is equal to math.max.apply on math. and on DESC. All right, and now instead of putting in DESC zero here, I'm going to say largest. All right, so you hopefully see, I'm gonna leave this up here for a minute, the changes that I've made in order to get this to work. I've actually applied, and I'm using the math.min, which is designed to, to to carry a load of numbers, but now instead of a load, I've, I'm, I'm, I've used the apply method so that it'll work on an array. This is very similar, in fact, it's virtually identical to the example that I showed in class. So, let's go back again and run it one more time. Again, there could be errors in here. I would never try to purposely make any, but we'll see. Let's do the A's first. 100, 93, and 90. Seven. All right, then the uh, 89, 87, and 85, 77, 74, and 71, 60, and 63, and 68, and 11, 22, and 33, and 44. All right, minus 999. Okay, our smallest and largest worked, along with our average, and there were three. Smallest and largest worked on their average, and there were three. Again, smallest and largest, three. Smallest and largest, three. And we had four here. So, what I have done now, in the last one hour and, I don't know, hour and 20 minutes or so is I have rewritten the test okay and or written the test I originally showed you the constants I used followed the global constants followed by the global variables that were array followed by the non-global array variables I went through main what we read in a number as long as it wasn't negative 999, then we validated it. If it was valid, we put it onto the scores array and we calculated the letter grade. When we calculated the letter grade, we said if it's 90 or above, we pushed it or copied it to the A grades array and added one to our toad A grades counter. Otherwise, if it was greater than or equal to 80, we pushed it to the B array and added one to the B grades. And I shouldn't say counter, those are accumulators. Otherwise, if it was greater than or equal to 70, we added to the C array and added to the total grade C grades accumulator. Otherwise, if it was greater than or equal to 60, okay, we did, we pushed it to the D array and added one to the total D grades accumulator. And if it wasn't any of those, we pushed it to the F array and added one to the total left grades accumulator. Then we went back and read our next grade. Eventually, we were going to read negative 999, which was going to get us out of here, which would get us, you know, right here. So then we printed our stats. 
We call it five times, passing in our A grades array with the letter A, their B grades array with the letter B, our C grades array with the letter C, our D grades array with the letter D, and our F grades array with the letter F. And on those, we did it three ways. The first way we did it, you know, they're all basically the same except for what's in here. In the first way, we put our own code in. We assumed that the first element in the array was both the largest and smallest. Then we checked every other element. If we found one smaller than the current smallest element, it became the new smallest. If we found one larger than the current largest element, it became the new largest. And then we printed the associate information, associate info. Then we did it again a second time. How this one changed is we first sorted the array in ascending order and then printed out the first element. Then we reversed that sort and printed out the first element. And I showed there were two ways of doing this with either an array sort with an A minus B and then an array sort with a B minus A or with an array sort A minus B followed by reversing the one that we did up here. Either way will work. We filled up all of our headings, etc., into our string with the values and printed that out. Finally, we looked at it one last time, and in this one last time, we did our array sort in ascending and descending order, but then we used the math min and we used the apply function so to make this apply towards arrays also. So that became smallest, which was here, and we printed it, then largest, which was here, and we printed it. Hopefully, you got something out of this because the rest of the semester is going to be a lab for the portfolio which is due on at noon on Monday the 19th all right I am going to grade your tests tomorrow during class while you guys are take you know are working on your stuff I'll be grading okay so that's really all that I had